zero-day malware cannot be detected by signature matching approach, and some have advanced capabilities to evade by manipulating the CPU, which only Checkpoint Sandblast can detect. But when your employees connect to any public network, are their laptops protected from such zero-day malware? In this video, we will see how Sandblast Agent protects the enterprise endpoints from advanced zero-day malware by using advanced CPU capabilities to detect attacks before evasion code can execute. The enterprise endpoint shown here is protected by Sandblast Agent, which has three security blades, Antibot, Threat Emulation, and Forensics. For this demonstration, we emulate zero-day attack by an executable file which was sent by cyber criminal through either email or USB flash drive. The victim user clicks the file. This action extracts a Word document. The victim user opens the Word document and continues to read for a while. Suddenly, document is closed. It happened because Sandblast agent threat emulation detects infection in the file. Notice the pop-up warning message and also see increase in number of infection found by threat emulation blade. Each incident of infection detection triggers forensic analysis. Notice the forensics blade analyzing the case. Click the View Details button on the pop-up warning message. It will expand the threat emulation blade panel, which shows the list of infection incidents. Click the latest incident ID, which is on top of the list, and has the action taken as quarantined. This will open the malware report for this incident. The report lists the suspicious activities, affected registry keys, processes, and files. Notice the advanced CPU level detection by Sandblast threat emulation. Scroll down the malware report and notice the emulation screenshots. View the list of suspicious activities, both at the operating system and CPU level. Also, see the unexpected activities listed in order of time. The Sandblast agent's quarantined action has not only deleted the infected Word document shown in the malware report, but also deleted the source of the threat, the exe file. To learn how it was possible for Sandblast agent to trace back the source of the threat, click Back button to list all security blades. Click Forensics Blade to list forensics reports. Click the latest incident ID, which is on top of the list and has the incident type as file. This will open the forensics report for the incident. The report lists all details, which may be required by a security admin, an incident responder, or CISO. Report is organized in various sections so that it is easy to read and understand. View the General section for details on detection and Entry Point section for user action that started the attack. We will analyze a sample forensic report in detail in another demonstration video. For this demo, pay attention to the Remediation section to ensure that all affected files are successfully quarantined. Thus. Checkpoint Sandblast Agent detects advanced zero-day attacks, which have CPU manipulation capabilities. Not only that, it protects the endpoints by quarantining the infection and also provides forensics report for further analysis.